Hey birders, Jim and Steve with earlybirder.net. We just pulled in over here at the Turnbull National Wildlife Refuge. I guess it's 20,000 acres of refuge that we can play around with today. We're going to uh, see what we see. It's a wide range of different habitats here. So we've got a lot of pine, a bunch of wildflowers and whatnot. Um, there's riparian habitat, um, grassy fields, open water, a bunch of reeds and everything, wetlands. So a ton of stuff over here. We're going to check it out, see what we see. And we'll uh, keep you guys posted along the way. Let's go birding. I woke up feeling on top of the world Like nothing's ever gonna bring me down this feeling got me flying high as a bird I may never touch the ground It may not be my birthday But I just want to celebrate Thank you. 
Birdmobile. Is that a caddy or something? Dead take up golfing. Morning birders, we're just loading up here. Heading out to another wildlife refuge. We'll be today Turnbull. Turnbull National Wildlife Refuge in Washington. South of Spokane. Eastern Washington. <clears throat> We're over here for a family get together, but uh, you know us. Always birding. So we're going to hit this wildlife refuge and see what we see. I'm still looking for the American bitter and is one of my big ones, but there's several birds over here that we just haven't seen for a while. It'll be new for us, new for you guys. And uh, yeah, come bird with us.
All right, All guys. Right. So we're driving down the road. We haven't made it to the visitor center yet, but we saw a couple of blackbirds following another bird. Pulled up the binoculars, took a look at it. it looks like either an immature black crowned night heron or a bittern, which of course you guys know at this point, we really want to see. Cool. So there's a big marshy lake down here. We're going to go down there and see if we can find out where he landed. So let's go birding. What are those monoscopes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go see a bittern right now. We just turn around and go home. Right? Should have brought the <laughs> scope over. If we start with a bittern, man, the rest of this trip is gravy. gravy. <laughs> I mean, we, I think we just saw one. But. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was looking and it looked like he was doing the neck thing, you know? Yeah. Jim, there was just a hummingbird in this bush right here. I know this isn't really the trail, but... What bush? This one. He was on right this there. one, and then he buzzed down around here, and I didn't see where he went, but Look I'm hoping to again. find that Anna's. Well, let's stick to the trail, yeah. Okay. Okay. I stopped it. I'm gonna... Right down here. Well, this... this. Okay. I was going to say this loops right down here. Okay. I want to sneak up into the trees. And I want to see us a lesser goldfinch too. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I mean, he could be like right here. Yeah. I think he's just where that water is. He's on one side or the other right there. Yeah. People. People. People on the trail. Taking pictures for Paul. <laughs> There's a lot of different. Right up here, Steve. Yeah. Starling or something. Long one. It's not a star. Immature, whatever it is, though. Pelicans are flying. Yeah, you see those. out there. I saw a couple redheads out there. Oh, I see that scout. Hmm, it's hard to see from this angle. Hopefully we was, can see uh, from the bridge maybe. It was good size. Good? It was good size. Good sign. So many bird song. It's flying right over your heads. Got the knob on his nose and everything. <laughs> yeah. I just saw that one coming up. Middle Pine Lake, huh? This should give us a good look over the Yeah, we get to this bridge here. We can look back at this other side. Another pie bill grebe out there. Um, the little grebe. Yeah. Not to interrupt, but we got a guy filming. They're shooting pictures of something over here. Oh, 
all right, that's a good sign. <laughs> Might just be pelicans. He's probably like, oh, these guys are taking pictures over there. Yeah. You get some pictures. Uh, oh, I thought that was a pipe. He seemed like right he here. was pretty intent when he got out of the car and left. Oh, okay. Blacked up. Green wing teal. And they're right in the reeds. They look like crap this time of year. Stinks. Mm hmm. Can you get a better picture of that pipe build? Maybe it was kind of closer last time. I have a picture of him. Hmm? Got another picture of him. I don't know how good he is, but cool. Green wing teal. Tumbleweed. Grebe right there, isn't it? Sparrows fishing. Swallows. Swallows, that's what I meant to say. Wall. This is a nice spot. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good about this spot, man. Beautiful. Just look at the area around here. Those wrens are going crazy in there. Yeah. Lots of them. I got eyes on a couple of them pretty easy. I saw them flying a few times. The breeze is nice. Yeah, that's nice. We should Beautiful today. The bugs. Yeah, it's perfect. There. Got a black turn flying around out here. On the other side of the pelicans. Perfect habitat for them though. They just kind of fly around like swallows. Diving down and eating bugs. Flowers are crazy. That. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Pretty. Very. And of course, it's clouding up because the clouds follow us whenever we bird. Everywhere we bird, it gets dark and dark. <laughs> Perfect. Birds only be on this sign. Difficult lighting. Nice and swappy and marshy over here. Hold on. There's a blue bird right there. Where you got him? Right on this. Uh, uh, they just were in, there's like four pine trees right here. It was on the fourth one. They just kind of went back this way, but we got some western bluebirds right here. Awesome. Oh, that's probably him right there. Yep. Up against the sky. Yeah. Not a good picture. Can't tell. I think there's a bunch right here, though. There's one right here, brother. In this pine tree, you see the heavy branch that splits a lot, it's 20 feet up. Yeah, he's sitting right there. 
Turkey vulture, maybe. Big shape. Yeah. I was just going off of the silhouette because I can't huh, see maybe. any detail. The down slope. Yeah. Can you tell what's making that squeaking over there? It sounds like it's on that far side. He's right here, birds. red wings. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Looks some kind of a finch or something here. Yeah. Right here on this branch, he's just immature. Right here, yeah, something brown. Yellowish. Thought I saw another peewee fly up too back here. Yeah. <laughs> Ice pond. Oh, there's a great blue heron. Oh yeah, awesome. Just walking out. About the tripod just for B roll. Beautiful. It's amazing how they just, you can't got, see them and then they just walk out. Got a whole bunch of sludge on his feet, feet when, when he's walking. <laughs> Hear that? Z -Z. Awesome this walk, yeah. Wish they did more like this in Montana. Yeah, they don't care in Montana. But yeah, that's a willow fly catcher. See if we can see him. We're hearing a willow fly catcher out here. It sounds like he's on that pine tree. But. Flycatchers are kind of difficult. They're easiest to identify by the sounds of their calls. A lot of them look really similar. <laughs> He's there somewhere. Usually it's like a three part call where it does like a D, D, D. But he's just doing the second half of it. Like his local dialect doesn't include the entire call, I guess. I feel like he's on that back side of that pine tree. Wee -wee. Oh, there he is. He's low. That yeah, sounded like you would. He's on this little shrub right here in the middle of that brush. There he goes. Oh, I see him. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> Real low. <laughs> Moved again to the left. I hear a catbird. Catbird also. Just hover in there for a while. There oh, he there he is, perfect. You hear that? Man, I like this spot. I'd like to yeah, live next to this place. Awesome. 
if you're in the Spokane the area, down. guys, come down to Turnbull. It's hey, awesome. Don't stack in that raccoon poopy. Hummingbird right there. Dang. He zipped way up into that dead tree right there. Yeah, he's in there. We're looking for Anna's hummingbird over here. Hmm. Got a nest up there or something. Yeah, he zipped up it. Why didn't he zip? Right here. here. To see black. Black head, black All chin. dark under the head. Picture. Hey, a woodpecker or something. Picture. Take that. Let me look at my field guide. I see so many birds everywhere. I can't even focus on anything. All right. Let's see here. dark head with pale eye ring but we need to try and whatever compensation you can get on there so we can see his head we got dark head that's for sure Cooperating, he stayed there this whole yeah. time while I'm messing he around with the, the camera. camera. <laughs> you take a picture. Well, that might have been it. Might be a lifer. We'll check the pictures later. If it is, we'll post it up here. We'll check it. Well, we've seen two hummingbirds already, so there's a chance that we could see it again. So we're looking for an all dark head, white eye ring. If it's immature, it'll have a white eyebrow. Okay. Without as dark of a head, it'll look more like a calliope with a white eyebrow. We need there to be a bitter right here. <laughs> this is all incredible habitat for it. Yeah. Don't step in that poop. Nice cinnamon teal out there. Swallows. There's hear that black turn again. Oh, good. And the black turn is really black on its head and belly, and then the gray, wings are gray. And they just kind of fly around like swallows, diving for bugs and whatnot. Real distinct wing, wing beats on them. That's cool to see. He's real bright, full plumage too. <laughs> yeah, it's a good, good one to see. Really nice. Bonk, 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 bonk. I don't think they actually do that. I've never heard it. They don't exist. What do we got here? Straight up, Steve. That's him. That's a bittern. Right there. There you go. <laughs> they do exist. Woo! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Finally. I, I didn't want to get a picture of his butt while he was he flying flew away. right over though. That's awesome. What luck. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, I don't know what you did to this, but you made it really dark. Five years of birding. Yeah, ants are all over me. <laughs> oh, no wonder. Oh, well, you're standing on an ant pile. <laughs> <laughs> the hazards of birding. <laughs> Five years of birding. Bitter and flies right over our head. Oh, I didn't do nothing. It's just dark. You're shooting up against the yeah, sky. Maybe. We'll try and get some ah, pictures later. Hold on. I can't grab any of this. I'm covered in ants. <laughs> they went all the way up, didn't they? <laughs> Oh, smoke. My knees are all red, my legs are all red. 
<laughs> Get off of me! <laughs> At least Ouch. it's not in uh, Texas, right? In Texas, they had a they'd drug be fire hole already. <laughs> now, now you're standing on them. <laughs> Smokes. Bitter, man. Yeah. Got a good look at him. Awesome. Woo! The rest of the day is gravy now. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Five years I've been trying to see one. Flying, you just saw him. Flies right <laughs> over the top of us. Flies over, we're looking in all the reeds and everything. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Great. That's a lot easier. <laughs> Bitter, man. We did it. <laughs> and that's awesome. <laughs> that was it. I'm golden for the year now. Yeah. <laughs> Tough to beat finding a gold bird. Yeah, for sure. All right, now Anna's hummingbird, Buick's ran. Oh, you know what that means, though. That's a lifer. Lifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anna's hummingbird, possibly. Possibly, yeah. Well, there's several hummingbirds flying around. So. Yeah, it'll be either the same three that we have in cow spell right. or the one Maybe that we want to see. Yeah. We'll see. See what. Coot and geese. Right, right here, Jim. Uh, two cedar wax wings right here, just sitting in a perfect lighting on this lowest dangling branch right there. Man, we needed a good upgrade on a picture of those. Pretty. Their plumage couldn't be any nicer right now. Holy smokes. Right? It's like perfect. Come on. Not, why don't I have it on a viewfinder? What happened? Turned it off on accident. the focus. <laughs> Did you get any in focus? Yeah, I got about 10 seconds. So okay. That's perfect. Wow. Look at them just sitting next to They're each other. Just waiting for us. Beautiful. <laughs> cool. Man, they're cool looking. Hardly never see them that low. Uh-uh. And sitting still. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Wow. It's all muggy now. We yeah. lost our breeze. Yeah, I liked it a little bit ago when it was breezy. Looks like another good flycatcher hummingbird spot. Another ran for a little bit. Like to see that hummingbird down here somewhere. That'd right. Be great. Okay, I'm gonna try and video him since he's sitting there. Man, that's like National Geographic <laughs> quality video right there. Very cool. Alrighty guys, that's it for this section of the trail. We'll see you up the road at the next trail. <laughs> Woo wee guys! That was a heck of a video. Hope you guys enjoyed that adventure. 
<laughs> and if you did, we obviously do. Make sure and check out one of these other ones. We got a playlist, different stuff, how-to videos, and more adventures to come. Yep, we really appreciate you guys watching our videos. And we have a, we just want to really appreciate the uh, patrons helping Absolutely. us go on these trips. I want to remind you guys that we've got a website. If you haven't figured it out by now, it's earlybirder.net. <laughs> and we got merchandise on there. Hats and shirts and cups and everything that you could possibly want to, to support us there. And we hope to see you guys on the next adventure. So keep birding. <laughs> keep birding. <laughs>